Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuys.com and welcome to the latest in our Brave the Default Strategy Guide Boss Series video. In this particular video we're going to be taking a look at the Phase 3 of The Evil One and this is the final phase as well and as you can expect it is also the hardest. Now luckily for you there is a dungeon between the Phase 2 and this third final phase so there is plenty of time to train and you can change your party around too which we juggle a little bit. Now onto the boss itself, it is 99,999 HP a game but the kicker is that it will heal itself twice which basically means you've got just shy of 300,000 HP to deal with which is not a pretty number by any means but it's perfectly doable with the strategies we're going to give you. Now the party we have again Tiz as a pirate and the sword master, no change there. Agnes this time her main role is a performer but we also again give her the white mage for curing and spells etc. Ringabel is a ninja once again with the freelancer and Ida is a pirate and again still a vampire so only the slight change to Agnes there. Now in its final a perfect form the evil one uses slaughter like his previous first form to inflict large physical damage in your party plus poison so cure that poison as soon as possible as the boss will use plague to kill those poison. Um, and it does actually happen to Tiz pretty much near the end of the video, so it's not always avoidable, sadly. You can protect your party with Usosimi or Rampart, um, but the slaughter really isn't the hardest thing in this battle. The boss uses Dark Abyss to cause dread to your party, so your healer should ideally have the ribbon from the final dungeon, the one between the previous fight and this one, which negates pretty much most ailments. Otherwise, dread isn't fatal, so just cure with Esunaga um, with your white mage. Another powerful move it has is Zeta Flare, which does major fire damage to your party. Now that's not so bad on its own, but when the boss uses default, you need to get ready to brace yourself in the next turn because it will brave and use Axidia to make you weak to all elements and then it's going to smack you in the face with Zeta Flare for a huge damage boost. Now you can't rely on Spirit Master to shield you from all the elements, so you need to buff your magic defense, debuff the, bo the boss's magic attack and default to survive. Now, if you happen to have any high level Dark Knights, you can actually use Absorb Magic to take zero damage from it. So again, the choice there is yours. After you defeat the boss, as we said, it will use Recover to restore all of its health. So you need to go through all of this again, and then go through all of it one final time. Now this boss is a huge step up from the previous ones thanks to this Daily Exidia plus Zeta Fair combo. So you really need to make sure that you're prepared, make sure you've got your items for yourself, you know, your items, everything else, your healing, your magic, it's up. make sure you're brought to the party. If you're not going for the true, true ending, then this is gonna be your final fight of the game, so you can go nuts. If you are going for the true ending, then obviously don't go completely bananas, but make sure that you're still well prepared. We hope this video has been of some help to yourself and it is taken from our complete comprehensive guide to Brave the Default, available exclusively at GamerGuides.com. We hope you take the time to check it out. And if you have any feedback for us, good or bad, on our videos, we'd love to hear it on our GamerGuides.com forum, Twitter feed, Facebook feed, and of course on our YouTube comments section as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much once again for watching our videos and taking the time. We hope it's been of some help, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.